right, we got another one for you guys. Welcome back to the channel. We got an 09 Ford Escape 25. Um, check engine lights on. So first thing we're gonna do, check her for codes. See what's going on. Let's turn this key on. This one has uh, 175,000 miles on it. See what we got going on here. Codes. A P144A evaporative emission system purge, vapor line restricted or blocked. All right. Well, let's check out this evap system and uh, see what's going right. on with it. So first thing we're going to do is start this up and uh, check and see what our uh, purge solenoid is doing. Let's get a light on here so you can see what's going on here. So it's right down here, pretty much right next to the throttle body. Source. You have to have the engine running. The engine vacuum is what pulls vacuum to the tank, and that's what uh, pulls your fuel vapor through the line into the engine. Next thing I want to do is make sure that we don't have a leak here. I'm just going to unplug the electrical connector and see if it pulls vacuum without it being actuated. And you can see right there, the connector is off. And we still got vacuum on there. We got full vacuum. Okay, so that indicates that this purge valve is bad. But that doesn't explain why we have the code for the blockage. So let's plug this back in. We've got our vacuum there. Put our line back on. We're going to raise it up and then we're going to check to make sure that we have vacuum at the vapor canister. The code we have is for a restriction. Um, from the purge valve to somewhere in the vapor line to the tank. So the reason why it sets this code is because the fuel tank pressure sensor is not seeing that drop in vacuum. So it's not seeing the purge valve pulling vacuum on the tank and it thinks there's a restriction there. That's why you get that, that code. Now, this purge valve has failed and it's actually leaking vacuum. So it's constantly pulling vacuum on the canister. So it's not what is causing the cold right now. Um, it is bad, the purge valve is bad, but that's not where the blockage code comes from. So we need to dig a little bit further here. What we're gonna do is pull up some uh, some data on that fuel tank pressure sensor. We're gonna close the vent valve and we're going to open the purge valve and see if we see a drop in that fuel tank pressure. 
So let's see what we need to do here. So we're gonna look at some data here. We're gonna look at purge duty cycle. Look at the event valve, and then we're going to get to our fuel tank pressure. Uh, let's do that one. Hit OK. So we're going to pay attention to our pressure here. We're at 0.18. Let's increase this and see if we get a change here. So at 60% duty cycle, our valve is closed, our vent valve is closed. We're not getting that big of a change there. should be moving way past where it's at. So what we need to do is we need to get to the vapor canister and do some checking there. All right, so we got the vehicle on the hoist here. We're just gonna actuate our purge valve. Set it at 40, and then we'll just uh, pull the holes off here and make sure that we got vacuum to the canister. All right, let's start with this one. This one actually comes from the front of the engine, or the front of the vehicle, right off the engine there. So you can hear that that is fully vacuum. We grab a gauge. Just to verify. Next thing I want to do is pull the line off right from the tank here. Can uh, put this one back on for now. Try and get this one off. Oh! Okay, well, that is fuel. So. <laughs> We don't have to go much further than this. So the cause of that is actually that purge valve that is leaking. Um, that purge valve should not be pulling vacuum on this system all the time, especially when the tank is full. Um, that's where our problem lies right here. So this is the... Um, the cause was actually the purge valve, but this also has damage because of the purge valve being bad, basically. So with that leaking down, pulling uh, vacuum on this system at all times, it's gonna pull fuel from the tank and then it's gonna contaminate your uh, vapor canister. This actually needs to be replaced 
because of that. So uh, once you get fuel in there, it's a bad deal. So vapor canister gets replaced and the purge valve. All right, so we just pulled this old one out and again, tip it over and we got fuel coming out of it. It is, she's heavy, real heavy. So we're using an aftermarket one um, just to cut down on the cost a little bit. The trouble with doing that, um, all this stuff has to be reused. If you get one from Ford, you, I think you pretty much get everything. You get the pigtail harness for the vent solenoid, um, all the tubes. I think you get this cover. So that's part of the expense. We're trying to save them a few bucks here. So we're going to go with a, another Dorman product. We'll uh, see what this does. Should be good. It comes with a vent solenoid in it. Um, again, if we didn't have fuel in the, the old one, we would also have to check that vent, um, you know, and go another step. So keep that in mind. This one, we know pretty much right off the bat, uh, because there is fuel in it, uh, it has to be replaced. So tricky thing about this, um, you know, we get a put back in here. It's held in by some small bolts on the back side here. Bolts through the bottom and nuts on top here. So they get rusty and uh, aren't, uh, aren't the easiest to get out. So sometimes just use a vice grip on the back here and you know, a 10 millimeter bolt on this side. And uh, usually they come out. So. Make sure you're gonna lube these nipples up with some Vaseline. This is your vent hose here. Lube everything up with Vaseline. It makes it go a lot easier. So let's get this all assembled here. We'll get it put back in the car and uh, get that purge valve put on and then recheck everything. Okay, so our purge valve is in. Uh, we're gonna leave our holes off and we're just gonna double check this and make sure that we don't have any uh, purge flow with this unplugged. Let's unplug this. We'll start the engine up and just double check this. So we got our valve put in, we got our vapor canister put in. We're all set up here and we're gonna actuate the purge valve and keep an eye on this 
fuel tank pressure sensor. You should see a pretty good increase. That's what we're looking for. So our tank pressure is reading correctly, which is not pressure, it's vacuum. So at this point, We're going to call this one fixed. All right, that's going to do it for another one. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.